Frustration and worry grow in Lakeside tonight over a home that is housing a group of registered sex offenders in a family neighborhood. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. Neighbors say they checked the California Megan's Law website and were surprised to learn five sex offenders were living in that home. Some reached out to CBS 8 for answers as to why they weren't notified. CBS 8's Abby Alford is working for you to find out if this is legal and what's being done to stop it. According to Megan's Law, there are five registered sex offenders who live in this home. Neighbors say they're just finding out about this. There are families and kids who walk by this home all the time, and they had no idea and are outraged as to how this happened. I, I'm so angry about this. It's not fair. Lakeside neighbors are fuming after learning five registered sex offenders are living under this roof on Ceci Lane in Lakeside. So yeah, I'm not really happy about this at all. I'm just really irritated. Jeanette shares her frustration with her neighbor Erica, who's a mother. Unsafe. I mean, I have a family that lives here. There's multiple kids that live around here. We feel like our kids can't go outside. Neighbors say they didn't learn about this until they recently went to the Megan's Law website and found five registered sex offenders living in this home. We found convictions range from rape to sex offenses with a child under 14. Megan's Law federally requires law enforcement to post information about registered sex offenders. What, we have to check Megan's Law all the time? Yeah. That's wrong, too. Well, they got five. On Sunday, Lakeside neighbors held a rally to protest. So the community of Lakeside is uh, backing us up. I wish I had more answers, but I don't. So neighbors turned to CBS 8 for help. We called someone who was connected to the property. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. We texted and knocked on the door. Hi, I'm Abby at Channel 8. The man who answered said no comment and shut the door. Is there anyone else here that can talk to us? No one knew about it. Who approved it? I'd like to know who approved it because I'd certainly like to give them a piece of my mind. We went to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, who says this home opened in July and falls under the state's specialized treatment for optimized programming called STOP and says up to six people can legally live in a home which is aimed to reduce recidivism. So my staff is working on it as we speak. We zoomed with Senator Brian Jones, who's working to find out how this happened and if the laws were followed. The bottom line is, is we need to change the laws that allow this to happen in the first place. Neighbors could not agree more. We're not going to stop. We're not. The whole community is not going to stop. I also spoke with a representative for County Supervisor Joel Anderson. He says in some cases they can get these homes shut down if there's any type of code violations and we'll check to see if there's any inside this home. We will keep you updated. Working for you, I'm Abby Alford, CBS 8. Thank you, Abby. And don't forget here at CBS 8, we're working for you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, please email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.